Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a GW Panther, it's the Tier 7 German SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Himmelsdorf. Yes, it looks very different, doesn't it? Because this is a pre-1.0 client. It's under the command of Guji72, and he's got one mark of excellence on his barrel. Game on. Well, this is a 15 centimeter howitzer mounted on a panther hull. It's capable of doing 680 alpha, penetrating 39 millimeters of armor, and it's got a decent splash area of about seven meters. Now, as you can see, he's taking it off down to the railway lines, and the map looks very different back then, doesn't it? It's uh, yeah, considerably different. Some things are still familiar, the layout from, for instance, but um, there's less street furniture now than there was then. Okay, he's ready to shoot. And he's aiming up the street towards the enemy. T-49 in sight. He's a tier 7 RT and a tier 9 game. So he can earn a lot of XP if he can do a lot of damage on the enemy. And that's important because the more high tier enemies he actually hits, the more XP he earns. Because of course there's a 10% bonus for every time you hit a higher tier RT. So if you actually hit one that's tier 8 and a tier 7 you get 10% extra and if you hit a tier 9 in a tier 7 you get even more well there are some enemies in sight in fact there's one a Schwarzpanzer right up on top of the hill next to the castle he's dialing in rounds out oh yes 160 it landed next to the Schwarzpanzer you can't get shots on that tortoise but oh there's an enemy RT that just died that was an M12 and he's getting a request for fire on that SU-12244, the premium tank destroyer. Okay, he's loaded. He's going to try and lay the shell next to him. And he does, but he stuns the target. That was back when stun was introduced. That was introduced in 9.18. This is 9.20. Okay, the SU-12244 has gone behind that uh, window. In fact, actually, he's waiting for the AT-7 to arrive. And now they're going to duke it out between each other. I rather think the SU-12244 is going to come off worse, yes. Not just for the fact the AT-7 have more hit points, it's just that um, he didn't have... Um, he was actually a higher tier actually attacking him. Got a nice shot on the T-49, wounding him, stunning him, and now the AT-7 is going to work on him. Okay, over on the other side of the map, We've got a VK4503 and a Borsig, and they're guarding the gap from further up the road. Looks like they're shooting down to the south, to the banana. And that's a nice little shot there on the VK4503. Makes him feel uncomfortable. He moved about now to uh, try and avoid a further shot. He's stunned, and Gucci's picking up stun assist. And he stunned the Borsig at the same time with that shot. He's almost ready for another one. He could kill both of these guys with one shot, if he could land it on target, but unfortunately they pulled back and he only stuns the 4503 this time. Well, that defender's going to go up and sort those two out. He kills the ball sig first, but takes a big hit. And the enemy has reached our cap area, which is very inconvenient. We've got an AMX 1375 just about to come down that road. He fires one round in, Guji shotguns him and tracks him in his place and he does take a couple of round well one round from the amx 1375 block the other one he's reloading will the enemy come around the corner before guji is ready well let's hope that guji can load in time and finish him off a near miss will finish him and it does lovely shotgun that's always fun when you see that but unfortunately now we need to get a reset to win the game because the enemy is capping and they they're ahead of us on the cap so guji has to go in and get a shot uh, a, a, a reset well they've had one reset already but if he comes up behind that schwartz panzer oh he's gone and now they've got a proper reset he can go around the corner and just dirt the type 59 in the ass oh he's had to leave the cap the type 59 Lock on. Yes. Nice. He's gone back to the aim. The Type 59's got other tanks to deal with now. 
So I doubt he's going to go for Guji. And he's out the game. There's only two enemies remaining. One of which has actually managed to go back to the cap for a reset. In fact, he got a full reset. It's a Type 61. But he's being bullied by the guys who are there. The Defender and the Scorpion. And they will see him off. Guji's trying to line up a shot. Unfortunately, it's very difficult at this angle. I think he's going to try if he gets the chance. Oh, now the T Type 61 did kill the Scorpion. And the Emil managed to kill the Defender. And now that means our guys actually are forced back. But he's going to aim ahead of the Stur Emil. Rounds out. It splashed the Stur Emil for 138, but it stuns him. And that gives our guys time to actually get closer to try and prevent that T49 from dying. If they can come up behind the real uh, the Stur Emil, he's dead duck. Because once tracked, that vehicle cannot be turned. And he's been tracked now. He's a dead duck. They'll just shin him. And he's gone. And that's the end of the game. So doesn't it look different, Himmelsdorf, to uh, today? Very much so. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was an ace tanker for Guji72 in the GW Panther. And you can see that this game was from December 2017, a long time ago. Ace tanker in the GW. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 11 in that one. And he got a confederate medal as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And if we look at team score, we can see that uh, when it came to damage, it was that uh, defender did the most with 4,159 hit points of damage. The next high score was the T-54 with 2,772. And after that, the Type 61 with 2,161 hit points of damage. Guji got 1,899, which is not bad at all, considering he was a lower tier arty. But he did get that important kill on the AMX-1375, which is a nice little shotgun. That guy was capping, and if he'd actually been there to help his teammates to cap, then they might have actually won the game. When it came to kills, it was the uh, T-54 did the best with four kills. Three kills went to the T-29 and the Defender, and also to that Stuart Mill. And then two kills, the Yag Panther and the 87. Good, she only got the one kill, but it was a good one. And when it came to base XP, yes, it was the Defender who did the best because it got the highest damage. 1,282 uh, base experience points for him. But Gucci, because he was hitting higher tier opponents, managed to get 1,135. And that was an ace tanker. Finally, the uh, T29 managed to get 925 base off his three kills. Gucci fired 10 rounds in that game, got four direct hits, four penetrations, two of those against the AMX 1375. Seven splash, damage of 1,899 hit points, of which 1,284 were at more than 300 meters. He received three hits, one was penetration, two non penetrations, and it was the non penetrations that the AMX 1375 hit him with when he was sitting. Um, um, right in front of him and then he fired one round just as Gucci was pulling back around the corner which actually did pen him and he blocked damage of 135 hit points I think those shots actually hit the tracks seven enemy vehicles damage one killed and 2360 hit points of stun assist of 10 stuns and that massively helped him to get the ace tanker on a freed player count, he earned 37,092 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 24,207 credits. He received 1,135 base XP, got times two for the first victory on this occasion, took away 2,270 experience points altogether. So a very good round, an ace tanker in his GW Panther. I'm sure that Gucci was very pleased with that alone in that game, but I would have been very pleased just with that shotgun on the AMX 1375 because it showed him who's boss. Light tank turns up, Artie hits him for one round, pulls back round the corner and then blasts him as he comes round the corner. Why that 1375 didn't come round immediately, I don't know. It could be that the 1375 was reloading and he just didn't have any shells left. And um, that gave Gucci the time to get his gun loaded and shotgun him as he came around the corner. Very well played. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. We've got a couple more old replays from Gucci72 to come up. So do stay, stick around and you'll see another map from way, way back. Thanks for watching.